Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna let you guys know what I picked up for my kids for Easter. Um, Easter this year, as you guys know, we're all sheltering in place and doing the best that we can um, by staying home is gonna be just a little bit different. So um, I'm still trying to make it as special -like as I can for my two kids. I have a three-year-old daughter, her name is Brooklyn, and then I have a 16-year-old son, his name is Dominic. So um, I am still trying to carry on as usual, even though Easter we will not be with family and friends and we don't, we won't get to do the normal stuff that we have, we get to, we usually do, but I'm going to try to make it as special, like I said, as I can. So um, you guys always seem to enjoy like what I got my kids kind of videos. So I thought I would make this one and maybe it would give you some ideas of what you can do for your toddlers and teens in their Easter baskets. So let's just get started. So as far as baskets go, I reuse my children's baskets year after year. I treat it like a, uh, a stocking or something like that. It's a keepsake. It's a thing that they will have from when they're super, super little until I stop making Easter baskets for them till they're older. Um, just something that we reuse year after year. For my son, unfortunately, we had his basket forever and ever and ever, like he is 16 years old, but it broke last year. So I had to get a new shell, but his liner I saved. That is um, stored. I have to get that out when it's a little bit closer to Easter, but I'll show you the new shell that I picked up. And I just picked this up a few weeks ago from our local store it's just really basic and like i said he has a shell that um says like happy easter and has like his name that goes over this so this is his new shell i was super duper sad i was so upset but at least i still have his liner and he'll just have a new shell starting this year and then for my daughter she's had her basket for three years and then it is just this one. It's ordered from Personalized Mall. It just has her name Brooklyn on it. And um, it just has like a little tutu. And like I said, we've had this for three years and it's held up great. So that's hers. And then um, inside, of course, I do a little bit of um, filler. My little trick for filler, because I don't have a ton of it this year because stores are closed you guys know the circumstances that we're in but i am going to just stuff the bottom with like a scarf or something and just use the little bit of filler that i have on top so the basket will still look full but um i don't have a bunch of filler to put it in so that's what i'm gonna do my little trick to make the bottom of the baskets look full i'm gonna put a scarf on the bottom like one of my scarves put filler on top and then put the items on top of that Okay, so let's just jump back right into the things that I got in the baskets. We're going to start with Brooklyn, my three-year-old, first. So for my kids, I always do swimwear. I like these baskets to kind of gear us up for the summer season and just get the kids super excited about being at home, no school. This year, of course, it's quite different, but I still want to continue that tr tradition by getting my kids some swimwear. So for Brooklyn, I picked up this little one piece. It is so cute. It has little lemons on it, little ruffly sleeves. It is from that Cat and Jack brand. And it is just really adorable. Like it has the little ties on the side, this little zipper, like so stinking cute. It's bright and colorful. Everything is bright and colorful these days. So I just thought this would be really, really cute. Um, the pools and that kind of stuff, the splash pads, they're gonna open up eventually. But for now we have like an octopus little sprinkler thing in the back backyard and then a few other water toys. So after Easter, she's still gonna get to wear this even if we're still in lockdown and things are shut down. But really adorable, the Cat and Jack brand. Super duper cute and I love it. Okay, to go with her swimsuit, I got her a cover up and it is also from the Cat and Jack brand and it is this one. These, fortunately, I was able to pick them up before all the stores closed down, but I know you can order this stuff online from target.com. 
um, I, or you can do target um, drive up pickup orders. You can do that as well. But these I got in the beginning of March when I started shopping for Easter stuff. Um, but I know that they have swimwear and that kind of stuff that's available online and you can get it delivered to your house. So I got her this little cover up. It's bright and colorful. I thought it went well together. Like her swimsuit, it's also from the Cat and Jack brand. And it just has little ruffles on the bottom, a little hood with little, whatever you call these little balls on the edges and the sleeves are like that with a little trim. And I just thought it's cute and it's colorful and it's fun and she can use it while we're in, you know, indoors to play in the background in the water. Um, but she can also use it when the pool reopens back up and we go to our pool in our community or the splash pad. And then for Dominic, I got his, oh, for the kids, I also got them flip-flops and I did an Old Navy online order and I picked up these for Brooklyn. As you can see, they match pretty well to her little cover-up and her swimsuit and they're just really cute. Um, they have the elastic on them and I like these for pool time or water play because they dry super duper easy and really fast, but got those. And like I said, I picked these up from the old Navy and, um, they were actually old Navy has been having really good deals. Um, they were like 50% off and then I had like an extra coupon. So I think I got these for like a dollar or even less than that. So, really cute, easy peasy flip-flops. And then my son, I picked him up new swim trunks as well. He got these from Old Navy. Like I said, everything was like 50% off. Um, I got these from oldnavy.com and he wears like men's stuff now, but just pick these up. And I thought they were nice, bright and colorful. He even kind of coordinates with his sister, but I thought they were just fun, bright spring colors and just getting us ready for this warmer weather here in California. And then for flip flops, Tim up these ones from Old Navy. And they still have the packaging in them and everything. And like I said, all of this was from oldnavy.com. So I ordered everything online. The stores are closed anyways, but yeah. So I pick these up and they're just, my husband has like brown ones like these and my son is always stealing them. If we like go outside, if I, like I said, if the kids are playing or if they're outside doing like water stuff, he always steals my husband. So I got him some brown ones too, but these ones are super affordable and from Old Navy. So to go along with that for my son's thing, I got him also these shades. And I thought these were super duper cute. My kids have real Ray-Bans. Dominic had them when they were little, when he was little. And then now we gave them to Brooklyn. So she has them. Um, they were actually my husband's when he was little. But these, he's still, he's 16, but he doesn't really care for his stuff. So he loves these type of glasses. So we just picked them, him up these Ray-Ban dupes. And they are also from oldnavy.com. And I just thought they were really cute <laughs> so he can wear this with his little beach wear okay so that is it for that like the swimwear so there were a few items that my son like really really wanted and I will insert that footage right now um so I picked him up an adidas hat and then we also picked him up from um adidas.com and then we also picked him up a new like t-shirt lounge distressed t-shirt so I will show you guys the clip of that stuff right now and those are the two items they're not in quite yet we ordered them from adidas.com all of their loungewear type stuff is 20% off so this is the best time to go get it but um we ordered him these two items from their spring collection and I will insert that footage right now there so the other two things I got for Dominic's Easter basket was one, this shirt. It's from the Adidas new spring collection and it is only 30 bucks and it's men's of course, cause he's 16 and 
I also picked up this hat and it's also from the new spring collection for Adidas for my son. And this one is only $28. All of their lounge type wear is 20% off. Um, so I just have to enter in the, I entered in the little code. But so this hat, super duper cute. It has green underneath. And he like loves, loves, loves Adidas. So that's one. And then that, the gray shirt. And he's gonna love this one because I love the back. I really like the, this um, halo pink color as they're calling it, but I don't think he'll like it. But if it was up to me, I would get this color. But I think he'll actually wear the gray much more. So, yes, those are the two other things that I got for my son for his Easter basket. Okay, so, um, yes, so those were the two items that he really wanted, and they're not in yet. They should be in before Easter um, in a few days, but um, I wanted to show you guys the two additional things that he will have going into his basket. Brooklyn was a little bit easier than he was, so... We got her this little giant um, bubble wand so she can make huge bubbles. We have like a bubble machine. She has like a little bubble gun, but this one will make gigantic bubbles. Um, so we thought that was really cool. And anything to get your kids outdoors, playing, exercising, burning some energy is much needed right now in this time. So this will be fun for her to do with us, with her brother in the backyard. And then this, we just, um, you can order it online from amazon.com, but we picked ours up in our local um, grocery store. So. And then another item that I picked up in my local grocery store was this humongous giant chalk. So we've been doing chalk art, then coloring with chalk, tracing each other with chalk, just doing a lot of stuff with chalk. So I thought this would be a lot of fun to do um, for her in the backyard or in the front yard while we are practicing our social distancing. And then we can make rolls and stuff for our neighbors to look at when they're doing on their walks and everything. So this is just fun to do. So some giant fun chalk. chalk. Like I said, we got this also from our local grocery store. And I always get my kids egg um, bunnies, like Easter bunnies. So this is the huge one we picked up for Dominic. And this is the little one that we picked up for Brookie. We didn't do a lot of candy and stuff. I feel like it goes to waste and I wind up throwing it out because after the initial, oh, I got candy, the kids kind of forget about it and then it just, is wasteful. So besides the bunnies, which I always put in their stockings, um, I did pick up some of these. I thought they were fun colors, spring colors. I can throw in actually both of their Easter baskets, some um, goldfish, because even though my son's a teen, who doesn't love goldfish? So I picked up these. And then for my son, I saw these and I thought these were pretty cool. Um, these Easter egg Oreos. So I picked up a pack of these for him. And then, like I, like I said, I save my eggs each year, but I saw in my stash that I had these that I didn't open up from last year. So I'm going to use these these year, this year. I feel like I probably got them from the dollar store last year. I am not sure, but I'm going to make sure I use these since they've been sitting around for a whole year. And then for candy, because we're going to do an egg hunt in our backyard. And I'm going to, like, decorate my backyard and stuff. And I'll have the jumpy up. I'll have the paint. I'll just try to make it as fun as possible while we're sheltering in place. But to fill up their eggs, I got this little pack of candy for my local grocery store. And then I got these M&Ms because my kids love M&Ms. And then that is it. Those are just the things that I'm going to put in my kids' Easter baskets this year. So I hope it provided you ideas or thoughts of things that you could add in your little one's Easter baskets. Like I said, 
mostly all of my items I got online or you can get offline or like this kind of stuff. When you are doing your grocery order to be delivered, you can just get that delivered to your house because they have those at the stores. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I hope everybody is doing well. And um, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.